Let's talk about Hunter Biden. So Hunter Biden is the son of US President Joe Biden. He's guilty of buying a gun illegally. So I'm, so we, I'm gonna, so there's the headline. Shall I tell you what, I've, I've become obsessed with this story. So I can yeah, tell please. You, you, you know that the main story is he filled out a form saying he wasn't on drugs and yep. it turned out he had a crack cocaine habit. And he'd, he, he's banged to rights on that because he's written a book saying it. Mm. So the, the, the FBI simply said, hang on a minute, you've written a book saying you're taking crack cocaine and you bought a gun filling out a form saying you're not. So that's what he's been busted for. What's so fascinating is how it came to the attention of the police. Do you know about this, Lynn? No. So he's going out with the widow of his own brother. That's the first weird thing. Haley Biden. This is strange. Haley Biden. She, she's in. She. By the way, she says he he got her into crack cocaine as well. She realizes she's living in complete mayhem, and she becomes worried that he might have a weapon. She so in the glove compartment of his car. She finds a gun. And she decides, I've got to throw this away. So we're going to see some CCTV. This is how the whole case started, right? Oh, God. She pulls it out the car. She puts it in one of these gift bags and she drops it, not knowing she's being filmed, <laughs> into a bin outside a pharmacy. Oh. Then he can't find his gun. It was loaded, by the way. She says, I threw it away. He says, we've got to find it. They go back to the bin. <laughs> And it turns out a bloke who, who spends his time going around bins has, has gone through the bin and taken it out. I found it. Yeah. She then realises she's in deep on this and she says, I'm sorry, Hunter, I have to go to the police and say what's happened here because I, I, this is a crime now. I've, I've got rid of a gun in a bin and someone, it could be a child. So she goes to the police and says, I dropped my husband's gun in a bin and I'm just telling you. And they then say, is your husband, oh, sorry, not husband, boyfriend, is your boyfriend the guy who wrote a book? saying how he's got a crack cocaine habit. And would he have filled out a form when he got the gun saying he hasn't got a crack cocaine habit? We'd like a word. And that's how the case... Isn't that amazing? It is amazing, isn't it? There's a kind of an irony here, though, that mm. this... No one was killed making this story. Uh, but, we, you know, the United States is a country where, what, half the population have guns. And we know... Hundreds of people, thousands of, I can't remember the figures, but thousands of people die each year from guns going off legally, illegally. And this guy is found guilty of just filling in the form incorrectly. Well, yeah, but that's, I mean, ironically, the Republicans are sort of in difficulties, although they hate Biden, they're sort of thinking, well, we don't like this control that you have to fill out exactly. the form. Exactly. There's you're not irony on drugs. upon irony. Yeah. So well, we can see just a shot of Hunter. The, the, the tragedy of Joe Biden's life here, this is, this is Hunter with his dad. Now, bear in mind, his dad, the first time he stood for Senate in the 70s, in the middle of the campaign, there was a car crash that killed his wife and it injured both his boys. So they were both in hospital. They got through that. He remarried. He's now married to Jill Biden, his second wife. And then Bo Biden, who was the star of the family, 10 years ago, dies from a brain tumor. And he was already involved in a political career. And Hunter then has gone to pieces. I mean, the tragedy in that man's life mm. is unbelievable.